what is up YouTube Fury here bringing us a brand new video in today's video what you're watching in the background is a combat shotgun v2 that I got with my boy swag thankfully he was helping me out with this and uh, we were going for I was trying to help him out with an m4 video or m1 grand video I don't know what he was using he was using some semi-auto but I was I was just messing around with the shotgun just to uh, troll the lobbies and stuff like that but we were using the combat shotgun and I ended up dropping a v2 thankfully he was helping me calling out and all that good stuff now I believe I picked up an FG mid uh, FG 42 midway in the game I only think I think I only got like two kills with it so a majority of these kills are with the combat shotgun and I got the last kill so I couldn't call in the v2 but I did get the v2 because I did go 25 and 0 all weapon kills so with this shotgun we were running on the airborne division a little bit different because we're not using expeditionary um, I figured that probably be the best bet for me just because I like to run around with this thing and I don't want to fire shotguns because every time you die you got to re-put them in and it's a pain in the ass so I, I was running airborne and forage now obviously forage I don't know I'm not the best shotgun class setup guy so um, this obviously isn't the best setup to run but we were running with quick draw and that's it I didn't have anything else just the combat shotgun with quick draw airborne forage and a machine pistol with a nade that's literally the entire setup for this thing but yeah if you guys enjoy the video Video, drop a like if you guys are new don't forget that subscribe button let's get right into this commentary so like i said i don't recommend using this exact setup obviously there are some attachments that you might want to use other than just quick draw um it worked for me luckily in this case because i had the help of swag and we we're constantly getting those uavs but we were running in a tdm game so uh tdm obviously i was a little jam-packed with time just because i had to rush for the kills and hence why i got the last kill to get the v2 you know that game should have went longer but obviously it's tdm there's only 75 kills so if there were 100 kills in tdm i could have probably gotten this um and called it in but unfortunately we could not do that but yeah definitely don't want quick draw as the only attachment on this thing um if i had to take a guess on what good attachments there are for the combat shotgun um probably i don't know if rapid fire would help probably does a little bit um extend max for sure because you do run out fairly quickly uh steady aim if you hit fire i mean you could do that um you could go with steady aim and you know what rapid fire maybe or advanced rifling if you want the uh distance shot now this thing did get a buff recently so this you know the range on this thing is ridiculous and if you put on advanced rifling on top of that it might make it a lot better um actually might be like more than just like overpowered to be honest it'd be unfair to be to be honest have i said to be honest enough no but like i say this thing is insane after the buff it's not it's not fair and uh yeah let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below now obviously if you're using expeditionary you could use those fire shotguns i'm not a big fan of that like i mentioned um it's just too much to pull out uh, you know all the shells and then put four more you know fire shells in um just for the the chance that you might die in the time that they're dying by the fire if that makes sense because if i like every time i shoot them and they don't die by the fire right away or they don't die for the first pump they end up killing me while they're burning so it's quite unfortunate there but uh yeah definitely want to be running like advanced rifling and in rapid fire maybe um i don't know let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think of a good setup for this thing to run is now this isn't a setup that you just run around trying to get a great gameplay with it's more of a setup just to troll um definitely if you have this fire shells on definitely gonna be trolling a little bit more but i personally don't like the fire shells just uh, you know just for the time sake i just like to run around troll people with the shotgun piss them off make them leave the game all that good stuff um but that's the main reason i do use the shotgun it just happened to be that i got on a pretty good streak with this thing actually got v2 with it and uh you know dropped dropped with it i mean I did get a little help from swag so that that was helpful um definitely not the easiest v2 to get i was definitely struck i've tried for a few games now but uh we finally ended up dropping with it thankfully now that i think about it me getting a v2 with the combat shotgun in tdm i think is pretty impressive just because of the time that it takes this entire gameplay was only like six minutes so um the fact that we got a combat shotgun v2 in six minutes on tdm is i think fairly impressive um obviously there's some people that have gotten faster sniping v2s or probably faster shotgun v2s in general but for me for someone that doesn't use a shotgun i thought it was pretty impressive i don't know about you but uh yeah not something that i'll probably end up doing ever again to be honest and if i do 
is probably gonna take a lot longer than it did there but yeah after this recent buff i honestly think the combat shotgun is probably the best shotgun in the game just because of the range buff that they did give this thing it's honestly unreal now um now there are some semi-auto shotguns you know that are pretty good but honestly the combat shotgun takes a cake on this one but uh, yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did drop a like if you guys are new don't forget that subscribe button let me know in the comment section below what you guys think of this combat shotgun it is a very troll weapon um if you guys play point two hockey you guys probably run into this thing, into this thing a lot but uh yeah i'm gonna let the rest of this gameplay play out i hope you guys enjoyed i'll see you guys in the next video peace